Okay, hey, we are on a roll today. Today we're working on a 1973 International 1210. Okay, 1210, what else am I missing there? Three quarter ton dually. Three quarter ton dually. Yes, those are gunshots you hear in the background. This is America. As long as there's no bullets whizzing around here, we're all good. And uh, so uh, this is the dually. And right now, since we got good light behind us, just did a little brake check, and uh, I guess I should have recorded that, but the, the brakes used turned out to be good, about 50, 60, maybe even more percent on those bad boys, and everything looked good, no leakage from the wheel cylinder. So look at, the, look at this brake drum, how about that? What do you think that weighs when you took that off? 20 pound. <laughs> 20 pounder, all day long. Yeah, aren't light. So yeah, so, um, so this truck is used in everyday service. How do you like that? How do you like those space age factory, what do you call those, cab lights? Cab lights, yeah. Cab lights, okay, right on. I'm showing the Paisley door panels. Oh, Paisley door panels. Deluxe, look at that. That reminds me of a cheap motel room right there. <laughs> yep, that beautiful. Was finest, 1973. 1973. Okay, and of course, our old standby. Getting some parts from Rock Auto. And uh, so the main thing on this was the tires, but then when he, he had a tire blow, right, originally, didn't you? It never did blow, but it came close. That's right, it came close. And when the tire blew, see, look at that. This thing is in service. This is a user, a usable truck that is in service. Always keep your lug nuts and everything organized. Yeah, this baby is in service. And uh, we'll get a shot of the dualies on the other side here. It looks great. Yep, if you like big trucks, you are loving this thing, let me tell you. So, uh, gas tank right here on the outside. Is this the only gas tank, buddy? It is. All right. So what is that, about a 10 gallon? 14. 14 gallon, Not all right. Big, huh. Huh. I'm surprised that holds 14 gallons. So what about the hole here that looks like it would have been a filler tube? See, I'm like you, I, I think maybe originally there was a gas tank behind the seat but somebody took it out. Okay. So originally we think there might have been a gas tank behind the front seat, okay. And now we have this little guy. Super cool reflector on the front, and uh, what a great looking dump truck. Great looking dump truck. Oh, you even got a winch on there? Yeah. Have you used the winch ever? I've never used it, no. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, look at that. A little 345 V8. 345. Yeah. International 345. Okay, and this is always my favorite trick right here. The inline clear fuel filter that you can get from a swap meet for like two bucks. And they just never seem to give me a problem. Now, some people tell me that the gas will boil in here, but I've had great luck with this. This one looks beautiful, it's full. Now, how can you explain the filters that are clear and your car runs great, but there's only a trickle of gas in the bottom? How do you explain that, any idea? The, it's just the demand of the float bowl. So if the needle shut off before the air bleeds out, then you just have air in there. So they don't always are not always full. So how does it keep running? It just it, it, as the needle seats open a little bit, it just trickles in. It don't take much. Okay. You figure it's you know like the size of a pencil lead going in there, and then there's a little needle in there that stops it. So. Okay, that's a fair explanation. I have several cars that don't fill up like this. Yeah. They don't get nice and full. You just got a little bit of gas, and I keep looking at that thinking, dude, how does my car still run? So, I'm out of gas. Yeah, so this has got the nice Edelbrock on it. Uh, what kind of carb did it have originally? Any idea? You know, I don't know what factory it was on the old internationals. Mm. Look Probably at that. Carter or something. Yeah, yeah. Boy, look at that. Power steering. And brakes. And power brakes. Look at that, yep. Luxury. Luxury in a dump truck, and under the hood, this is the International Under the Hood Toolbox. How about that? If I can get it to open, there we go. Under the Hood Toolbox. This was there when he bought it. It's a beautiful uh, accessory. You can even lift up the shelf here and underneath you got some extra stuff. Oh yeah. That's a nice accessory there. 
a really strong selling point. Fits perfectly in the engine compartment. And you can still have the back full of old toilets or tires or uh, tree trimming. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, I'm glad you brought that over. This is the brand spanking new beautiful Iron Man tire. I'm disappointed you put the cool raised letters on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that would have been good uh, yeah. sticking out. These things are super nice. We think they're dead stock, right? They've been sitting around a while, but they're brand new because they smell new. I can see where the sticker is. Oh, just beautiful. Those babies are going right on there. They're heavy. <laughs> they are heavy, I'll bet. I should help you, but I'm having too much fun filming. <laughs> All right, so that concludes our day. Too much fun fighting and laughing. <laughs> On the 1973 International 1210 half ton? Three quarter ton. Three quarter ton, that's right. Three quarter ton International dump truck. A thing of beauty. That's right. And uh, one of our future videos is going to be the renovation and uh, modification of this beautiful Dodge van. Uh, what, what, what model van is that one? A100. A100. It's not the Sportsman, right? No. Okay. No, that's the generic one. 65? 65, yeah. 65. Now, he's got the fancy windows in his. I've got the 67. And uh, my mine runs and drives, which is an advantage. But uh, this one has the windows, which is beautiful. And uh, what a great little van, right? These things have gone nuts, and they're all the rage now. So, all right. And then, uh, also, we got to do a video in the near future of this beauty right here. What's the motor in this thing? Yeah. Yeah, 5.7 Hemi. This is a real nice modification. Really, really strategically done and just, you won't believe it. So we'll do a video on this in the future. It's just a phenomenal build. Really uh, deserves uh, a magazine piece. Uh, it's all modern underneath. And inside, it's just fantastic. So we'll do a, we'll do a story on that uh, in an upcoming video. So do please subscribe. We're trying to get the channel off the ground, and uh, give us a thumbs up if you would. And uh, that's another project we gotta get on here at some time. But uh, yeah, do subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you if you can, please. And uh, God bless you. God bless America. And let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs>